Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a horizontal scrolling component in React.js styled with Tailwind CSS. Now, it doesn't have to be in React really and truly, it's just JavaScript, so feel free to use this in any JavaScript uh, project you're working on. But I'm learning React, so that's what I chose to build this in. So here at the top, we just have an image here, and all these images I'm bringing in from Unsplash, I actually have them stored in, in, a, in a JSON file here, so I'm gonna put a link to my GitHub in the description below, so feel free to just clone this, or if you don't use your own images, that's fine. But this image here at the top it's no functionality it's just for reference kind of gives it that netflix or, or hulu vibe to it and then here is our our horizontal uh, sliding component here so i'm on my trackpad so i'm just using um, i'm on my macbook sorry so i'm using my trackbook to to trackpad to just slide through all these images which is great if you're on smaller devices or smaller screens however if you're on a desktop or any larger devices you're likely going to want to have these uh, arrows here some added functionality to scroll through our images. So I'm gonna show you how to configure all of this. We're gonna install Tailwind, and I'll show you how to do all of this from the beginning. So if you're ready to get started, then uh, let's follow along. So I'm just gonna drop that down a bit here. And all I've done here, I've created a basic React application here. And then I have my mock data file here. This has a export const data array with all of our images in here. So, um, and I've already installed Tailwind. And if you don't know how to install Tailwind, it's really easy. Just go to tailwindcss.com, click on get started. And I'm gonna click on this frameworks guide. Go down here to the Create React app. And now just go ahead and uh, highlight that. I'm actually using Yarn. So I just um, added, said Yarn add, and then this part right here. And then you're gonna to want to run this npx command. This npx command is gonna create this tailwind.config file. This content array is gonna be empty by default. And the next step down here is simply just to copy this string here into your content array. And then the final step here is to just copy this here and go over to your index.css and just paste it there. So once you have that done, your uh, Tailwind will be configured correctly and it'll be ready to go. If you've already started your server prior to um, your development server prior to installing Tailwind, then just restart your server. Otherwise the Tailwind won't go into effect. So what do we want to do first is let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring in our data right from from our mock, mock data site here. And so if you see, we can just import our data and then we can just grab the ID and then also the image for our image stream. So let's import their data first. So import data from and this is looking for mock data. There we go. Now I'm going to get rid of this H1 here and um, let's add that image at the top first. So I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to paste in this string. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and give this also a class name. This class name, I'm going to say width full, which is just saying width of 100%. Then I'm going to give it also a height. And, and currently, when we open up brackets, we can actually give just a hard code some values in here. So I'll just say, I'll say 440 pixels. There we go. And I want object cover so I can maintain my uh, aspect ratio here. So now whenever we open up this, it's always gonna stay at 440 pixels and we don't lose any of the aspect ratio there. So next, let's go ahead and uh, work on our actual slider that we're gonna do, right? So this is gonna, we're gonna create a div here and this div is gonna be just like the outer container or our, um, our, our slider wrapper, you can say, right? So I'm gonna give this a class name and I wanna say relative, we want that to be relative and then also flex and I'm gonna say items item center so everything's lined up perfectly in the middle here and then we, what we're going to want to do next is let's go ahead and map through all of our images here so we can get something on the screen so i'm going to open up some curly brackets so i can use a javascript here and i'm just going to say data dot map okay and it's going to take an arrow function and in here i'm going to say let me get that screen out of the way map this through as items and i'm going to map through uh, really just an image here image source and then I'm just going to give it an alt tag just so just so react won't uh, start complaining it likes to throw fits about that so in here what we're going to say is item dot image because that is the URL string here so that's what we're grabbing there item dot image and now you can see we have um, have our images here so <laughs> they're kind of they're all over the place here so we need to go ahead and fix that we're going to do that with tailwind so let's go ahead and add some class name to our image. 
And what we want to say, I'm going to have each image be about 200 pixels. I'll say 220 pixels in width. It's just to hard code that value there. Now I want these to be inline block. I'm going to give it a padding of two rim cursor pointer. I'm going to drop that down so we can see what we're doing here. And then also I want to have a hover effect. So whenever we hover over it, I want to scale and we'll say scale 105. I want to say ease ease in and out and then a duration duration of 300 now I'm gonna go ahead and save that so I want to I want you to be able to see all of this here I have it zoomed in so you can have a better look at the screen here so width of 220 pixels and this is just our images there width of 220 pixels inline block padding of two the cursor pointer, we have a nice little hover effect here. So as you can see, we have the good hover effect. Um, however, when we scroll over, that's not what we want. We want our, our screen to end there. So let's go into our, our container here, which is this div. And um, what we wanna do is actually wrap this, this data right here and an ID, a div with an ID. So I'll just say mm, ID, sorry slider there we go and let's just move this up into the div with the id of slider now this is very important to give this div an id because we're going to come back and grab that with our javascript but in the meantime let's add uh, our class to it so what we want this we want to be uh, width full which is the same as saying width 100 percent i'm going to say height full which is height 100 percent then i'm going to say overflow x scroll then scroll and then white space dash no wrap this is kind of a rare one that you don't see very often and then we want scroll smooth now we're going to come back and hide this uh this this scroll bar here but that's what we want so far right and actually that's all we need to just use our tr uh, trackpad on a mac to just slide through these things but let's go ahead and had, add some react icons so we can have some extra functionality here so what I want to do next is actually install the React Icons packages. So I'm going to say yarn add, and it's just react-icons. Now I already know what I'm going to be using. Um, so I'm just going to copy that over here. And this is how we import React Icons. You just import, and then you can uh, input your icons in here, and then you just import them from React Icons slash whatever the pretext here. This is the pretext of the icon slash MD. So if you have multiple um, multiple icons with different pretexts you'll have to put those on separate lines so let's go ahead and and throw these in here and where we're going to put these are actually within this div right here but outside of our our slider here so and what i want to say here is i'm just going to say md chevron left and we'll close that off now we can actually access the size property here so i'm going to say a size of 40 and we'll put the next one down here just below here and this is going to be MD Chevron right, and we'll give this a size of uh, 40 as well. And let's go ahead and close that off. So we should start seeing there. Uh, that's perfect. That's what we want right there. Now we don't have any functionality yet, and that's what we're going to do. Um, that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to add in some JavaScript here. It's just going to be right here, just above our return. And what I want to say here, I want to say uh, we'll add the, say a slide left function, and then also a slide right function. So, and I'm going to using arrow functions here. So I'm going to say slide left. And this is an arrow function. So we have to grab our slider, right? So define it. And we'll say document dot get element by ID. And this is why we had to give it the ID of slider. Okay. And then we'll just say slider dot scroll left equal to slider dot scroll left. And we want to say by, you can say whatever you'd like. I'm going to say 500, okay? 500 pixels. And then let's do the same thing for the right. I'm going to say const slide right and another arrow function here. So bar slider equal to document dot get element by ID. There we go. And we're just grabbing the slider once more. Now I'm actually going to say slider dot scroll left again even though it's just ones to the right, but bear with me, I'll show you why I'm doing this here. Dot, scroll left. And this one, I'm gonna say plus 500. So go ahead and save that there. And now we have our functions, but we need to hook them up to our buttons here, to our icons. So this is our left icon. So what I'm gonna say is just on click. 
And whenever we click this icon, we want to run the slide left function here. I'm just going to capitalize that. Sorry, I just saw that. And then um, we'll do the same thing on this icon on the right here. So on, whoa, on, on click, we want to run the slide. There we go. Slide right function. Okay. So let's see how this works now. Let's go ahead and click this. Boom, there we go, it's looking nice. Uh, um, let's add a few styles though to our icons here. And the styles I wanna add are, they're real simple. So I'm just gonna say uh, class name here. And for our styles for the icons, I wanna give it an opacity of 50 and then cursor pointer. And then I'll just say hover. On hover, I want the opacity to be, um, to be 100. There we go. So now our, there we go. You can see the icon is, has the opacity effect and whenever we hover, it lightens up a little bit. So I'm just gonna copy this and just paste it down on our right icon. There we go. Now we can see that on the right. And that's virtually all we need to do to have a working uh, scroll bar here. But notice you have this kind of ugly scroll bar and that's always, um, that's kind of ugly to look at. It works fine, but it's kind of unsightly. So we can actually just remove that with CSS. Now, Tailwind doesn't automatically have a, a class name to put, just type in there um, right off the bat. So what we need to do is actually go over to Tailwind and is actually gonna package what we're gonna look for. So let's go to npmjs.com and the package is called, I believe it's called, um, this is another thing I was looking at. So just real quick here, I was looking at scrolling menu packages and they're just a pain and they require like basically more code than, than this would be here. So it doesn't even make sense to me. That's why I decided to create my own uh, scroll bar here. But what we're gonna look for is tailwind, scroll bar, hide, something like that. Let's have a look here. Scroll bar hide, that's the one we want right there. So go ahead and click that, okay? Now just scroll down and I'm just gonna copy this right here like so. There we go. Now, one more step it wants us to do is go uh, add this to our plugin array. So just select that there, and this is gonna go into our Tailwind config file. And we're just gonna paste it right there. Now we have access to what they call a scroll bar hide. So let's go back to our, here we go. So now we have our scroll bar, and I'm just gonna close this down so we can see a little better. And in our slider div right here, the ID slider, this is where I'm gonna add this. And what it's gonna say is just scroll bar hide. There we go. And this was actually not, um, this scroll bar hide was not effective. This is coming from our, our package that we just installed. So if we didn't install this package, we would not have access to that. So now you can see we have a beautiful full, I'm gonna open this up full screen, but we have a beautiful horizontal scrolling component in React.js, but really it's just styled with um, with Tailwind CSS and it's just uh, plain vanilla JavaScript. So thanks for following along, you guys. I hope you like this. If you add any improvements to this, if you wanna add like scrolling with your mouse or any other features, I'd be happy to see uh, the work you've done. So uh, feel free to, to clone this. I'm gonna put the link in my GitHub in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the next one.